everybody. This is Ryan Yarbrough. I'm your regional technology director for South Florida, and I wanted to welcome you all back. Hope we had a good break. Uh, we just finished up with Lindsay Springsteen from Fort Myers and the Islands, and she did an amazing job. And we had started with Tim Carruthers from Georgia, and we have him back. We were honored to have him back because he's going to finish up his session by uh, really showing you how to close on these people. So. I'm gonna give the session back to him. And if you didn't get the QR code from the last session, we'll be putting it back up along with the bit.ly for his resources that he's gonna to continue to give to you, okay? So this is a great session. We're very lucky to have him. Tim, can you just go ahead and say a little bit more about who you are again for those people who didn't get to see you first time? Absolutely, man. Who doesn't love talking about themselves? Um, so no, my name is Tim Carruthers. I am based in Athens, Georgia. For those that are not in Georgia, Atlanta is Georgia, the whole thing. Um, so anywhere in Georgia, if you have a lead in this direction, shoot it my way. I can highly direct it to where it needs to go. Um, outside of real estate, I most of the time it's spent with my five kids. Outside of that, we're out on the pit boss and we're watching soccer or soon enough college football. But I use those same things when we are talking about connecting with clients and connecting with our database, right? We can use those things. Um, and then, of course, I am, I've been married for 22 years. Fun fact from the first session, we only dated for 10 months. We've made it 22 years. So we don't take that lightly. It's a real blessing. But for this session, last time we talked about the tags, right? We got them all labeled and get some organization, but now what do we do with them, right? How can we utilize that? And another part of command that I think highly gets underutilized, I know I was way, way underutilizing it, is our smart plans, both the ones that are currently built and the ones that you can build for yourself. And so I want to talk about three in our short time together here to make sure we give you something actionable that you can put into place with your business right now to make a difference in your database. And the three that I'm going to talk about is what I call my 12 day push. If you've heard the 10 days of pain, it's a similar setup. Um, the other one is a 36 month touch. We're just going to touch on that very quickly. But then the other one that I really think is important that has really helped me in my business as far as my sphere goes is the post closing, right? You had a seller that just closed. You have a buyer that just closed. What's next for them? They're in your database. They're labeled. They're tagged. You've got all this information. But what do we do with them? Right? Where, where do we go from there? And so first, I want to talk about this 12-day push or the 10 days of pain as it's been commonly known before. And we've heard the number 36 a lot, right? If you've got 201 people in your database and you re you touch them 36 times, right, then you get X amount of business out of that database. And I took the same philosophy and put it into what I call my 12-day push. Here's, here's my belief on the 12-day push. I would rather be so overly persistent that I literally push a new lead away than to be absolutely as passive as possible and let them just waltz on to another agent because there is another hungry agent out there that will be more than happy to take care of the people that are in our database. So from a new lead standpoint, and we have dropped the resources or will be dropping the resources, they're in that Google Drive folder that Ryan mentioned earlier, I'm gonna give you two of my plans today. The first one being this 12 day push and how we do this. Okay. The 12 day push starts with a quick text message within five minutes of someone downloading our app, right? Connecting to our database, or even that mom or dad you meet at the ball field or the um, skateboard rink, whatever, wherever you meet these people, they go in your database. You've got to have a plan to connect with them immediately. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to shoot out a quick text right off the bat. And again, word for word, exactly what you can put into your smart plan is in this resource. I'm going to connect with them as quickly as possible. But the way the 12 day push works is they're going to get a text every morning at 9 a.m. 
for 12 straight days. They're going to get a phone call somewhere between noon and one from me. That is a real open period in my calendar to where I can be a little bit more flexible for when I'm going to call them. But every one of my text messages and emails all talks about, I am going to be following up with you soon. Well, we start looking real stupid if we say we're going to follow up and we don't do it. Right. However, we start looking like a hero when we say we're going to follow up and we actually make that effort. So every day for 12 days, they're going to get a text, a phone call, and an email until they answer. I don't care if it comes via email or text, whichever way the communication comes in, I'm going to continue that conversation that way. So that way, if they come via email, we're just going to have a conversation there and try to get that to a phone call appointment, right? If they do answer the phone, we're going to have a conversation right there. If it's text, back and forth. Right now, I am finding with this 12-day push, the text is the ticket. That is where it's at, but you can't skip the phone call. The skip the phone call is to skip the consistency of the actual follow-up, right? And they're just continuous, right? So we can start building on that. So that 12-day plan is in there. You're going to see exactly what I use. Ryan mentioned using emojis earlier in the first session. If you want your text and your emails to get opened, absolutely throw some emojis in there. When I text with family and friends, I don't, I'm not a big emoji person. Okay, just not. However, when it comes to this, very, very intentional. You may even notice in this 12-day push that there may be some grammar errors. Those are on purpose because I'm not a robot. And the idea behind these smart plans, here's the thing. All of us are out lead genning every day, right? We have AI everywhere. That's another conversation, another day, right? But AI is everywhere. But with a smart plan, it is going to allow you to do more work in the same amount of time. So at 9 a.m. when I'm on the phone calling people, the system and the smart plan is sending out text messages for me. So when I'm done with my calls, I can answer the text messages, right? While I'm at lunch, emails are going to go out. So in the afternoon, when I'm knocking out all of my admin tasks, doing appointments, things like that, at the end of the day, I can answer an email, right? So I am scheduling when I can have additional conversations while not messing with my morning legion and this regim the regiment that I have set every morning, okay? So you guys have that. You're going to see exactly what that is. Again, 12 texts, 12 phone calls, 12 emails. All of that is in those resources for you. This is something very simple that you can implement right now, this morning, and start connecting with all those new leads that you have. We've talked about the 36 touch. Everyone at Keller Williams knows this 36 touch. Now, for me and my benefit, I am part of United Home Group. We are an expansion team based out of Portland, Oregon. And we have the luxury of having someone on our team that creates all of these emails for us. And they go out to anyone that is in our database. Religiously, consistently, we don't miss it. To the point, we sent out a St. Patrick's Day back in March, and I received two contacts that had not been on my database for over a thousand days. They logged back in just because there was some disruptor in their email, okay? I have a client right now, we actually just referred to them because they're not in my area. They were labeled that they were not in my area, but I sent out a rent versus buy 36 month touch email. To me is just something that happens, but to the person that receives it in the time that they need it, that simple little email is huge. And she reached out and she said, I've been renting. I'm reading this email. How do I stop the bleeding over here to where we can potentially buy a home? We had those conversations. We referred her to an agent in her area. They're putting a contract in today. Okay. These little 36 month touch emails, they work, right? You may not think they work. It's a lot like 
social media, um, you may post something on social media and you get one like, maybe you get a comment, maybe you get nothing at all. And then a week later, you get a phone call from someone in your Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever that says, hey, I saw your video or I saw your post and I need more information about that. That's how I feel about the 36 month touch. Yes, it goes into email. No, you don't necessarily get a lot of response, but it's there for people to see when they need to see it. So don't sleep on that. There are plans in command that you can use right now that are going to get that information out to your people. Stay top of mind. When I think smart plans, that's all I think. I want to be the name that they always remember. Right? I want to be the name that they call and at least get information. Let me be your hub. I don't care what state or city you're in. But then the last part, I think the third one that's equally as important to anything we do. We close on a property. What's next? Do you have a plan in place that says this is what's going to happen this afternoon? This is what's going to happen tomorrow. And this is what's going to happen every day for a year. Do you have that plan? If your answer is no, you do now. It is in the resources. I took a smart plan. I took some other plans from other agents. And I built a 365-day plan. No, it does not mean I'm going to contact my clients every day for 365 days. But there is a plan in place. So that form or that link is in there. And I did both of these for all of you in Word documents so that we make sure that you guys can just go in, copy and use it however you want, make it sound like you, make it fit for you. But for me, when I start this plan, so I use a tag for this plan, it's just buyer follow up or buyer client or whatever it's tagged at this moment. Um, I come out of my closing, I sit down in my car, I send the CD to my transaction coordinator, and the very next thing I do is to put this tag on that client and mark them as closed. Okay, by doing that, the smart plan automatically starts. So they're going to get an email from me all about congratulations, asking for a five-star review, right? Who do they know? Little things like that. And then here's the thing, if, if you had the resource open and you're looking, the very next day, they're going to get a second email at 9 a.m. in the morning that says, hey, look, I forgot a couple things in my email yesterday. I didn't forget anything. It was built that way on purpose, right? But how many of us remind our buyer clients to change their address, our seller clients change their address, utilities, turn them on, turn them off locating essentials in their area, right? Where do they need to go to get all of these things done? And updating your driver's license. I helped a client back in February. The address on her driver's license was from three addresses before, right? Little things like that, that kind of take it away from real estate, but are keeping you top of mind so that you can stay connected to your people. Now, in that auto, in that smart plan there, what you're going to find is you're going to find nine reminders. Those are for you, right? Those reminders come to you. Those reminders are going to be a phone call. When you're seven days in, you're a week in, you're going to pick up the phone and call that client. Hey, have you made any changes to the home? I'd love to see pictures. I couldn't count on both hands the number of times I've made that phone call. And the client reaches out and says, hey, why don't you just swing by? Swing by and see what we did to the backyard. Swing by and see what we did to the kitchen. Hey, we have torn that master bathroom to pieces. You ought to see how open it looks right now, right? Little conversations like that are going to go a long way. And you're going to notice throughout that whole plan, I'm constantly asking them, who do they know? Who have they met? right? They may have met the neighbor three doors down that's getting ready to sell at the end of the year because they're the ones out meeting new people. 
right? So you're going to get nine reminders. The other reminders are going to be to send them a piece of mail, send them a note card, right? So you get about two weeks in, right? Send them a note card. Hey, just thinking about you guys, is there anything I can help you with or anything you've noticed in, you know, in your home that you, you might need to get fixed? You might want to look and see what does an estimate cost to get new flooring done. This is where those reminders are going to be great to keep you top of mind. Okay. Another one, you're going to get five text messages. You're going to see what each one of those text messages are. All of my text messages for every plan I use goes out at nine o'clock in the morning. Why nine o'clock in the morning? Right? Nine o'clock in the morning so that I can still make my phone calls, but the plan's doubling me up. The plan is doubling, tripling, quadrupling who I can have a conversation with. Finish phone calls, answer text messages. All of my text messages are already queued up for me because people have been responding. The other part you're going to get, you're going to get six emails. Six emails just throughout the time. Hey, who do you know? Hey, I hope that I am being of a resource to you. One of my favorite ones that I typically send out about, I think it's three, uh, six months in. Hey, have you thought about making any updates to your home? I have a personally vetted vendor list that I would love to share with you if that would be beneficial to you. I get a lot of requests for that list. Being a military veteran, every vendor on my list is a military veteran company. Works a little bit, works great for me to be able to sell that in that format. So you're going to get those, but it's 365 days of different stuff. At the end of 365, the very last day, there are about four items that take place. An email, I mean, a note card went out about a week before that. They should be getting that happy home anniversary gift and note card. The day of, they're going to get a text message. Midday, they're going to get a phone call. End of the day, they're going to get an email. Sounds very familiar to the way that I very first met them the first time I put them into my database, right? Three contacts, a year later of when we actually have closed, They've been in their home a year, three more contacts. And the last reminder that I get is to add them back to my DTD2 to make sure that I'm staying in contact with them every 90 days again. These are simple, simple plans that allow us to take and double and triple our time. Right? With these tags, you can add smart plans based on the tag. Give this name a tag, let that smart plan work for them, right? So the whole time you're making phone calls, you're out in the community doing community events, let the smart plan work for you. Let that be the thing that connects you, right? So that you're not having to overwork. You're not having to remember. Because again, I said in the first one, I'm in my mid 40s. I don't remember anything. The other day I was filling out my kids information for school and then asked for their phone number. And I'm like, I don't even know whatever it says in my phone. So I don't try to remember things. There's other things we have to remember. These aren't them. This, we have a system that will allow us to do it because of what we get with Keller Williams and command. Not every other broker has the smart plans we have. And one of the things, if you have, if nothing else at the end of the day with this, is when we talk about how do I implement these, copy and paste, put your information in, copy and paste, because at the end of the day, done is better than perfect, right? I always, early on, I kept trying to change everything before I just went with it. Done's better than perfect because I was missing all kinds of follow-ups. I was missing all kinds of pieces that 30 days in, I didn't remember to do that. 60 days in, I didn't remember to do that. Let us let the system work for you. Make your life easier so that you can go out and be doing the things that make you more money up in the in the right now time, right? 
So when we kind of think about this from just as a recap, using a consistent plan that's going to keep you top of mind. It doesn't have to be every day. It just has to be consistent and regular. I actually missed 4th of July this year. It's my fault on building the plan, but I didn't put in a July 4th in my 36 touch that I add to this from the calendar. And I actually got an email from a friend that said, hey, look, I didn't get this thing last this year. So make sure we throw that, make sure you're getting those things in because they will notice, right? The other part is press in hard to your new leads. That person you met at the grocery store, when they say, hey, let me get, or when you say, let me get your information or, hey, let me give you my information, don't put that information in your phone. Put that information into command, hand them the app, let them fill out their own information. Because for mine, when I get that new lead, new tag, new plan goes out. That way I don't miss following up with them after we put them in. This is making my life so much easier. I can always add them to my phone later from command if I need to. I look at the 36 month touch like it's a sprinkler system. We live in the South. I live in Georgia where our grass can burn very easily in these wonderful summer months. So the sprinkler system is just keeping my lawn nourished. Same thing with the 36 touch. We're just making sure we're putting the sprinkle over everything. And at the end of the day, for your people that you actually helped buy or sell, don't make them orphans, right? How often, I mean, how often do we close a home or other agents close homes and then they're ready to sell that home and they don't use that same agent because that agent did not stay in touch? Or they bought a home and they found a friend that wanted to move into a home that was for sale three doors down. Because we didn't stay in touch, they just went and found another agent or called the name on the sign. But by doing this staying in touch part, you look like a hero. You look like the agent who is not in it just for the money, right? Because now we've closed and you're still having conversations with them. You're still offering them things of value. And reality is you're really making more business over here and the system's doing everything else for you. So when you can do those things, that's where you're going to start to make a difference in this database. And those are just two plans. 36 touch makes three. I gave you two. So that's a little bit about how I use my tags. Once we get them in there, we get them organized. How we start adding plans that are going to make those things work for you. Now, again, I did say at the very beginning, I am based in Athens, Georgia. If you're outside of Georgia, Atlanta is Georgia. So if I can ever help you in the state of Georgia, give me a shout. My email is Timothy Carithers at unitedhomegroup.com. My phone number is 706-818-0813. Or you can find me on the link app, linqapp.com forward slash Tim underscore Carithers. That will give you all of my social media. Give me you know, download my contact card, find my review, all those things. They're all in there, but I'm, I greatly appreciate the opportunity to get here, Ryan. Um, and I hope I've given you something today that's going to get you yeah. business down the road. Do you mind giving us that link one more time? Yeah, it is L I N Q A P P dot com forward slash Tim underscore Carithers. You'll also get on there whatever playlist I have playing today also. All right. So there you go. There's his uh, link app. Actually, I spelled it wrong, I believe. I think that's supposed to be an A. Oh, yep. Let me try that again. Yeah, I don't know where that O is going to take you. Hmm. That's all there you go. And 
and there we go. So again, there it is, correct, I believe this time. Yep. So if you need any of his contact information or anything, there's a good place to go. Make sure it's spelled with an A, not a no. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for your information. And also, if you didn't see already, in the top right-hand corner, there is a QR code there. If you scan that QR code, all the uh, resources that he's provided for us all today are right there for you. And you can go ahead and R&D that. That's, that's our jam here. And if you don't reinvent the wheel, let's go ahead and help each other by taking what's already there and then make it a little bit of your own. But I'm going to take a moment here to see if there's any questions before we take off. Because what we're going to do, I'm not going to put that up there. Man, easy, <laughs> man, easy. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to break off and take our uh, market center and tech trainers give them a shot to work with you guys in your market center so that they can help um, implement some of the stuff that Tim's just giving you. So Tim, what are some of the things that you'd like from this session for them to go and implement? Yeah. So very simple. There's two plans, hit the QR code, get it out of that Google drive, put that into play. What specifically? Cannot... So here's the thing, copy and paste, right? Start with the 12 day plan. Start with the 12 day plan. Every new lead that comes in starting today should get that plan. Yeah. 100%. It's helped me do 80% of my business is that one plan. Is that plan already in the uh, smart plan library? It is not yet. Okay. So if it's not, then what I would do is just copy and paste that and make your own smart plan and make it your own. All right. Yeah. Put your own information on there and get it out. Just get it going because if you're not contacting anybody in your database, at least get that touch going. It makes it a little less awkward that when you call them and uh, you at least have that to call on, right? Hey, have you been getting my messages? Have you given my emails? Absolutely. I will tell you, I've actually sent that to some of my brand, some friends that I've put into my database that we finally reconnected. I'll throw it in there. They'll get this crazy first message. Hey, you logged into my site. And I'm like, I will give them, a, you didn't log into my site. One, I'm disappointed you didn't log into my site. Hey, the link's on there. Go, go ahead and go do that. And then you'll get the message again. Um, but you yeah. can make it fun, but just send out, get them connected with something. What I want you all to understand is this whole day was supposed to be about converting. Now we've got contacts in there. You went and did open houses. You went and did online lead generation. You talk to people in your uh, database and were able to get somebody to become another contact in your database. So if, if you've got these leads, what do you do with them next? Well, we've given you proven strategies around that today that if you just continue to talk to them, they will turn in business and it doesn't all have to be salesy. It doesn't all have to be, hey, do you want to buy, sell or invest in real estate? Now that is a valid question. However, that shouldn't be your question every time you call them, because if you do call them with that question every single time, that phone, when it gets so much heavier, this phone is just got gravity pulling on it like crazy. However, if you're calling them and talking to them about the things that we've talked about today, which is the things that are important to them, are just just loving on them a little bit. That phone is really, really light because you're, it's not about being salesy. It's about being human and using the tools and technology we have to make it easier for us to do that because we can do it in a systematic way. We just put it into a smart plan and run that smart plan and run the play, right? And football are, is a great sport to talk about when it comes to that, especially when it comes to uh, beating the Gators or beating the Hurricanes or whoever else it is. If we want to we want to beat them, the way we got to do it is we got to run the best plays. And those plays are your smart plans, okay? So if we're going to run a route to the right, that that's got to be the play you run on every single time until you get really, really good at it. So practice, 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 put those into play and start calling every single day. All right. Anything else, Adam? I'm seeing in here door of our amazing tech trainers over in Wellington says you did a great job and thank you. And I want to thank you as well. So thank you for coming on. Um, for having us. I also want to mention for everybody who's still on here, Take Command is a event that we do every month. It's the last Tuesday of every month. And 
we have been doing this around 201 plus topics. Uh, we, we focused it in on the playbooks. If you're interested in the playbooks, you can actually go to KW uh, Connect or just in command, just go to connect in the top of the screen. And once you're in connect, just type in playbook, you'll get all the playbooks pop up. No other company does this. They put together a playbook just telling you how to run your business and make it simple step by step by step. And what we're doing, if you've noticed, all year long is we've been just taking those playbooks and running them each one of these uh, classes to make it a little bit easier so you can hear the topics next month we're going to be doing our topic on um events so if you have anybody that you know of that is doing great events please let your market center tech trainer know if you want to learn a little bit from them um also if it's you that's doing the events and you're doing a high level and you love to come on take man we'd love to hear from you and if you want to learn from these people, make sure you show up next month, the last Tuesday of the month, because we're going to be talking about events. And then we're going to be following that up with social media the following month. And then our last one of the year is going to be on mortgage tax. That's going to be in October. We don't do anything in November and December because the last Tuesdays fall right around the holidays. However, we do have a great event coming up in the very beginning of December that South Florida has Put together with south texas and we call that south flexus and that's going to be your tech the halls event so if you've not been to tech the halls it's going to be bigger and better than ever uh we've put a lot of man hours into it we just had our first uh, christmas in july event recently and it went really really well and that was just a taste of what's to come for uh tech the halls because it's all going to be around game show themes so you, anything that has to do with games is going to be included that means the entire thing is going to be gamified and we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're also gonna be doing it from different locations. So tune into that. If you haven't been there, go to kwtechthehalls.com and you'll get some more information on that. Um, otherwise stay tuned, cause we're gonna be doing this for a few more months. Uh, we're, we're gonna bring you every one of those playbooks so that we can help uh, decipher the code that's in there. All right, so again, check out K, KW Connect or just go to connect within command and look for the playbooks. They're all in there for you to download or just keep right within there. I appreciate you all coming on today. And if you need anything else, please uh, feel free to reach out. Um, my name's Ryan Yarbrough. You can reach me at South Florida Region. I'm sorry, South Florida Region at kw.com or you can uh, reach out to your market center tech trainers and they'd be happy to help you. Tim, have a blessed day. We appreciate you. Adios.